Hello everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a no contact love reading for the collective. So this reading is going to be specifically for those of you who are currently in a no contact situation with your person and you want to know all about them. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus on their feelings for you and their next actions towards you. We'll see if they're going to contact you or not in the near future. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me for those who are in a no contact situation with their person currently. How does this person currently feel about the collective, please? How is this person currently feeling about the collective? For those in a no contact situation. One more shuffle. All right. Here we go. First card we have here is the Three of Swords in the reverse. Could be a Libra for some of you. Let's see what else. We also have the Magician showing up. Could be a Virgo or a Gemini. And we also have the Knight of Cups and their feelings. Is this person like, is this person like mad? I feel like they're I feel like they're mad or like angry or upset. I also feel like this person is waiting for you collective to break the silence, you know? I am getting that. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Wands. I feel like they're waiting for you to chase them. They're waiting for you to chase them. I just saw the tower right now. I don't know if you could see it. Look at this card over here. The tower. This person doesn't like the way you two separated. They don't like the way things ended between the two of you. They don't like that and they want you to chase them with the Knight of Wands. They feel hopeless in the situation with the star in reverse. I feel like this person tells themselves that they're getting over you or that they're over it. They're over the situation. They're over the relationship with you. But in reality, they're not. In reality, they're waiting to hear from you. They're waiting to... They're waiting for you to make amends with them. Make amends with them. Heal the relationship with them. Apologize to them. Oh boy. You're, you're not going to like this reading. <laughs> you're not going to like this. Yeah, I don't feel like this person is taking responsibility for anything. I feel, like, I feel like they look at you like you're the culprit or you're the villain. Um, you're the one who caused the tower moment between the two of you. So, so they feel like you're the one who needs to fix, fix things with them and you're the one who needs to chase them. All right. Those are their current feelings. Hmm. All right, let me do a little bit of clarification here. Um, let me use, yeah, let me use this deck. Um, let's take a look at this tower. Spare angels and guys, tell me about this tower, please. Between the collective and whoever they're in no contact with. So we have the moon, wow, 
very dramatic. A very dramatic tower moment happened between the two of you. Very dramatic ending or separation. Lots of um, blurred lines, you know. Blurriness, lots of blurriness here. <laughs> Tell me more about this tower. Ace of Wands with the Queen of Cups. Okay. Okay, so there's like resentment here. You're all, you're resentful collective and they're resentful. Both of you are resentful towards each other. Mm. You know what? I feel like both of you want the other person to take action. You know, both of you want the other person to take action. You want them to take action. They want you to take action or you feel like they should be the one to take action and they feel like you should be the one to take action. Yeah. All right. I, I do want to verify your feelings. So let me take a look at that. Spirit angels and guys, please show me how does the collective currently feel about this person that they're in no contact with, please? How does the collective feel about them? So we have the king of wands. Uh, okay, okay, tell me more. We also have the nine of pentacles in your feelings. And we also have, oh, jeez, queen of pentacles. Okay. I see what's going on here. So this person's a psychological person. They, they psychologically get into people's heads, heads, or they get into people's heads psychologically. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, yeah, the strength card, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's like they this person this person plays like psychological games. So this is gaslighting. Okay. Okay, sorry. I'm I'm starting to see the I'm starting to see the full picture now. This is gaslighting. That's why they're that's why they're in this energy of no collective. You're the villain, you're the bad guy. You know, you're the one who caused destruction in this relationship. So you're the one who needs to fix things. You need to fix the relationship and you need to be the one who chases me. It's, it's like they're flipping it. That's what it is. They're flipping it around. They're gaslighting. They're definitely gaslighting because this doesn't make sense. I mean, Queen of Pentacles with the King of Wands, like that's, you know, that's very different. That's extremely different. Yeah, that's totally different, which basically that's telling me that this person's getting into your, they're, they're trying to work you. Especially with the moon and the queen of cups. They're trying to work you. They're trying to work your psychology. Yeah, ace of wands and the knight and the king of wands. This person wants you. But they want you in a selfish way. They also want to make you codependent off of them. They want you to be codependent. They want you to need them. They want you to want them. You know, they want they want to have control over you. They want to have power over you. Yeah, this is a player collective, unfortunately. This is a, this is a player person. Man, woman, male or female, doesn't matter the gender. This is a, a this is a tricky one also. They're tricky. You definitely have to be careful with this energy collective with the moon and the queen of cups. 
um, because this is basically telling me that they're going to use your feelings against you. That's their strategy. Yeah, that's their whole strategy. This person knows that you have feelings for them. And they're going to take advantage of that and use that in their favor to, to get inside your head and, and manipulate you um, and make you feel like attached to them, make you feel like you need them. So they're trying to make it seem here like, like you're about to lose them. Um, they're, it almost feels like they, yeah, they're distancing themselves on purpose. Like they're, they're doing this whole no contact on purpose to make you feel fear, which is the moon, to cause you to feel fear of losing them. As if you were losing anything valuable, you're showing up as a queen of pentacles. You're not, uh, yeah, you're not dealing with someone who has more value than you. No, you bring a lot more to the table than they do. You're, you're the prize, basically. You're the prize to be won here, but they're, they want to make you believe that they're the prize, you know, that they're the prize to be won and that you need to chase them and come after them because they're the prize, not you. You see, they're, they're trying to flip, the, flip your perception or alter your perception of your own self, actually. They're, they're trying to alter your per, the, per, the perception of your own self. They're trying to bring down your, your sense of self-worth. So you have to remember who you are, you know? Remember that you're the queen of pentacles, male or female, doesn't matter the gender. But um, you're someone who's very loyal, committed, a committed person, a devoted person, a, a reliable person, a trustworthy person. These are all qualities that you have that are very rare and that are very difficult to find. You bring a lot of stability and security to this relationship. Um, And they don't. They simply don't. Yeah, the strength card can talk about your self-worth, um, your, your pride, you know, your integrity, your dignity, your self-respect. So these are the things that you really need to protect, I want to say. Because, again, this person is going to try to alter your sense of self-worth so that you become more manageable and more receptive, you know? Because if you're someone who knows your worth, then you're not going to be so manageable. It's going to be a lot harder to control you, you know? And I feel like that's what their main objective is here. Their main objective is to have total control over you. And I, again, make you attached to them, make you feel attached to them, make you feel codependent off of them, make you feel like you need them. Yeah, you don't need this person for anything. They need you. It's the other way around. You're the one who has value here, not them. So, damn, this sucks. What was I asking? I was asking about your feelings for them. Let me look at that one more time. So I got the king of wands. Yeah, so they're, it's interesting that they're angry at you. 
They're angry at you and they're losing hope. They're angry at you and they're losing hope. Yeah, they're angry at you and they're losing hope. I feel like they're des that's why they're desperately trying to like like do something drastic here. By by doing this whole no contact thing, you know? It's like they wanna they wanna how do you call that? They wanna create a they wanna provoke an emotional reaction in you, like a like an intense emotional reaction in you. And they're hoping that things go in, in their favor by, by pressuring you and making you f feel fear. The fear of, of you losing them, which would be you know, that would be the best thing that could ever happen. <laughs> That's the best thing that could ever happen to you. That would be the best thing that could ever happen to you if, if you lost them. It wouldn't be a real loss, you know? Not really. This person doesn't really do anything for you. I mean, this is not someone who brings any commitment. Who's not, this is not someone who's offering any commitment at all. They're not thinking long term. They're not trying to create any type of serious relationship with you. They're not trying to have anything with you ex besides a, a superficial um, relationship with you that seems to be more physical because we have the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands so they're more interested in that physical you know co contact that physical relationship with you slash sexual or you know they're just more interested in using you for whatever you can provide for them alright so those are your feelings Tell me more about, um, no, tell me more about what actions is the collective currently taking in regards to this person. I just want to see where you're at. Yeah, you do have some good intuition here. I do feel like you're listening to your intuition. What actions is the collective currently taking towards this person there are no contact with? We have the lovers in the reverse. We also have, whoa, the empress. Nice. Okay. Thank God. We also have, nice, the two of swords. Very good. And here we have the wheel of fortune. So they're not getting through to you. They're not getting through to you, which would explain why they're pissed off and angry. That's the first thing I said when I started this reading. Do you, rem do you remember that? When I started the reading, I said immediately what I got was that this person is angry. Yeah. That's immediately what I got. And they're angry because you're not, you're not manifesting them. Magician in reverse tells me you're not manifesting them. You're not doing anything. You're not taking action. You're not bringing them towards you. Kind of looks like you are. Um, you're remaining in this no contact energy. Um, I do feel like some of you are more so in this energy of waiting for them. You know, waiting to see what they're going to do or what their what their next action is going to be. They're 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 making it seem like it's up to you whether this relationship survives or not. They're trying to make it seem like it's up to you, but in reality, that's not the case. It's it's up to them, and I feel like that's what you're doing here. You're you're basically communicating the message 
that it's up to them whether this relationship survives or not. They're the ones who need to make a choice, not you. You're already bringing your best self to the table. So they need to decide if they're going to meet you at your level or not. That's what they need to do. Um, you already made your, the, your choice to not do anything here. To sit, sit and look pretty. Sit down and look pretty. With the Empress card. Just look pretty. Wheel of Fortune is here. I like the Wheel of Fortune here. Actually, I want to clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Let's look at that. Let's see what's going on there. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. What does this mean here in this reading, Spirit? This Wheel of Fortune. So we have the king. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> what do you know? The king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is the perfect match to the queen of pentacles, which you already showed up as. It kind of looks like the universe has your perfect match um, prepared for you. It's not this one. It's not this person that you're in no contact with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the universe has your, your perfect person um, prepared for you. Um, you're, it's like the universe is holding this person back, Waiting for you to cut this person out of your life, this, um, this player person out of your life. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Um, let's take a look at, um, tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. Tell me a little bit more about the Wheel of Fortune Spirit, or, or is there anything else there? Six of Wands. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, be confident in yourself. Be confident in your self-worth. Um, don't fear the, the unknown. Don't fear um, change. Don't be scared of change. Because the change that, that's coming up for you is something really, really positive. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. Oh, geez, look at who's here. The Queen of Pentacles. Double confirmation. King and the Queen of Pentacles connected to the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so, I mean, I think it's, you know, clear as water that... Like I said, you're, the universe has your perfect person for you, and you are going to eventually end up having that commitment that you want and that you deserve with someone who's going to value you and with someone who's, who can meet you at your level. This is what the universe wants for you. That's what the, this is what the universe wants you to experience and have in your life. But you have to be independent for a little while with the Six of Wands. You know, you have to, you have to choose to be independent and single for a little while and focus on yourself with the Six of Wands. And then um, that's when the universe will bring you your match. Um, but you definitely have to isolate yourself from the things that are not serving you and people that are not serving you um, in your life and that don't really bring any value to your life. 
Yeah, you need to isolate yourself. Hmm. All right, let me see your next actions here. Well, no, let's look at this person's next actions. What actions is this person going to take towards the collective moving forward? What are this person's future actions going to be towards the collective moving forward? You know, some of you, some of you are already doing that with the Nine of Pentacles. You're already isolating yourself and and distancing your distancing yourself from from the things that are from the things that don't serve you, that are not good for you. Um, so, if that's the case, then the universe wants you to continue doing that. Okay. And pay pay no mind to this person. This person is tricky, okay? They're very psychologically um, uh, manipulative, okay? Um, what actions will this person take towards the collective? Moving forward, thank you, Spirit. So we do have the Page of Wands, okay? Page of Wands in reverse in their next actions. Tell me more. Five of, <laughs> Five of Pentacles. With the Page of Swords. Yeah, so this person is going to be thinking to themselves here with the Page of Swords. What's going on? Why is the collective not doing anything? You know, why is the collective not reaching out to me? Why is the collective not chasing me? Yeah, this person is very full of themselves is what I'm noticing. Yeah, they're very full, and full of themselves and very, like, arrogant. This person felt pretty confident they were they felt pretty confident that their strategy was going to work out this whole no contact strategy was going to work out which makes me feel like it has worked out for them in the past either with you or with other people but it kind of looks like their streak is over yeah Their winning streak is over, is what I'm getting. Hmm. Because yeah, with the Five of Pentacles, Page of Wands in reverse, this person is gonna be this this person's gonna feel abandoned, rejected, um, because they're not receiving messages from you with the Page of Wands in reverse. And it's gonna cause them to feel really confused. <laughs> Very confused. Like, what's going on here? Tell me more about um, this person's future actions towards the collective. Okay, Four of Pentacles in the reverse with the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. Yeah, they're going to feel really sad and disappointed and, you know, poor me, woe is me. I guess nobody loves me then. That type of energy. Yeah, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, interesting. Yeah, they're going to feel like they lost. And they're also going to feel like this whole strategy that they had going on backfired and didn't work out in their favor. Are they going to take any action or contact the collective at any point? Ten of Wands, I do see this person giving up, which is good, thank God. Great, yeah, Page of Cups in reverse. Well, that's lucky. That's lucky. I do see this person giving up, to be honest with you, with the Ten of Wands. I do feel like this person is going to let it go. Um, but this person was never, you know, emotionally invested in this to begin with, you know. So I don't see this person really putting up a fight, which I find interesting. Interesting. 
I don't know if you two have done this like multiple times already. Yeah, actually, yeah. Ten of Wands many times can represent something repeating again and again. Let me clarify that. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. So we have, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, the Knight of Swords. I feel like this person has already tried this with you. Page of Swords and the Empress, yeah. Ten of Swords, Knight of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, I see this person giving up because um, according to them, they've, they've already failed with you multiple times multiple times and at this point you know their ego can't stand another rejection basically yeah their ego can't stand another another rejection they've hit their max their max limit They've hit their max limit. <laughs> okay, so I don't see this person doing much um, moving forward collective. I don't really see this person contacting you either. Um, but like I said, that, that would be the best thing that could ever happen to you. Because, you know, you don't want to delay what, what the universe has for you and your perfect person, your perfect match. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to, sorry, you don't want to delay that. And if this person comes back and if you get back together with them, it's just going to delay everything for you. So I feel like this is the best outcome, basically. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Collective. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.